Shooting after shooting, murder and violence, that's what it has felt like in Knoxville so far this year. From teens to adults, even a woman accused of killing her own sister. And we see the talk online. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Has something changed? And what's being done about it? Well, we sent WATE 6 on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel to get answers and put all of this in context. Yeah, she's with us now here in the studio with our top story tonight. So Elizabeth, what did you find? Well, Bo, we got some numbers to help really put things into perspective. As of today, Knoxville police have worked 19 homicides this year, all of them shootings, and that does include the officer-involved shooting of Anthony Thompson Jr. This time last year, there had been 13 homicides, 11 killed by a gun. On Monday and Tuesday of this week, back-to-back -back deadly shootings in Knoxville, bringing the ongoing gun violence conversation once again to the forefront. We really want to work with our local law enforcement. We want to work with our community and make Knoxville and the surrounding areas safer for everyone. That is the mission behind a new tool launched in Knoxville, East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers. The organization says it is important now more than ever. With Crime Stoppers, they don't have to be afraid. They can remain 100% anonymous and just tell us what they saw. And for a look at where the city stands right now, here's the Knoxville Police Department's updated shots fired data. From January 1st to May 16th of this year, there on the far right of your screen, 185 reports of shots fired, 42 resulting in injury or death. Compare that to the same time frame last year, 147 reports of shots fired, 29 resulting in injury or death. And the year before, from January 1st to May 17th, 93 reports of shots fired, 29 resulting in injury. I think it's more appalling and more eye-opening because when you think of Knoxville, the crime rate doesn't seem that high. That doesn't happen that often. Derek Furlow Jr. has a passion for making a difference mentoring young men to help keep them on the right path and steer clear of violence. He had this message following two deadly days in the city. You are worth it. Um, you can be more, you can do more, you can have hope more. You're not confined to your environment. You don't have to become a product of your environment. And there is hope. And Knoxville police tell me the rise in numbers can be attributed to two things. One, that gun violence has been steadily increasing over the past couple of years. Also, they say they have been investing more time and resources into following up on shots fired calls where there was no obvious evidence of a shooting, resulting in increased documentation. Lori.